Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, uh, advice uh, to Noahides, to uh, converts, and to Bali Truva, people returning to Judaism. And I'm reminded of um, Rav Nachum of Chernobyl. Now, this rabbi spent a good part of his life involved in a very special mitzvah, Pidyan Shavuyim. These is redeeming hostages, prisoners, um, captives, by uh, who the people who were captive uh, by Gentiles. He went from door to door, community to community, constantly seeking support from wealthy Jews, um, and uh, so he could continue the holy work of redeeming, of bailing out, of freeing these, uh, these captives, these prisoners. Once, when uh, uh, the Rebbe of Chernobyl was in Zitomir, the Gentiles in that community uh, began libeling him and uh, causing him to be arrested by the police and subsequently uh, incarcerated. He was in jail. As he was languishing in prison, a tzaddik visited him. And during the conversation, the tzaddik um, shared with him a pashat, a practical interpretation uh, of the verse in the, the first verse of the 12th chapter of Genesis. Lech lecha me'artzacha, get thee out from your land, get thee out from your country. Abraham, the patriarch, um, he exemplified the devotion to the mitzvah of Achnos Orchim, Achnos Orchim, showing hospitality to, to wayfarers and uh, strangers. So much so that he himself would put himself out to, to try and find people who were wandering around and invite them in. He was, uh, that was a big, big, big mitzvah for him, this uh, showing kindness to... Uh, to strangers and passers-by. He always wanted to do more. Abraham always wanted to do more. And so God said to him, Lech lecha me'artzachai, get thee out from your country. By doing this, you will know and you will become ac acutely aware of and sensitive to the traveler, to what the traveler wants and what the homeless person needs. The tzaddik looked at the... Uh, uh, Rav Nachman, uh, Nachum of Chernobyl, and he said, you too, Rebbe, are a great redeemer of captives, and now Hashem has granted you the opportunity to know firsthand what it means to be a prisoner among the Gentiles, so that you too will have an even greater sensitivities to their needs. Uh, the lesson that uh, we can derive from this narrative is uh, powerful. Um, these, no matter what the situation, these great men, these gedolim, these, these great uh, religious leaders, these great figures in our past, um, this is how these people viewed every incident that occurred in their lives. Uh, to their minds, everything was for a purpose. Everything provided a lesson. And as we know, everything comes from God. Everything is for a reason. And everything is for the ultimate good. Uh, let us find the lessons in our lives. Something that may appear to be a tragedy short term may in fact be a blessing in disguise and may work out for the best long term. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Mono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.